What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light and our little preview playthrough of the front little chunk of the game. The first couple hours, I just popped open this chest in between episodes because I gotta like, I was fiddling with stuff and like moving back and forth between locations. There's a rusty pipe wrench in here and so I'm gonna take it. I don't wanna drop my nailed plank though. Why are you... Why are you dropping the level? Okay, get rid of the nailed plank, that's fine. And we got Pit Fighter, which is a weapon upgrade. So maybe our upgrades will be unlocked now. I don't know. The last time we tried, ooh, that mouse smooth, that mouse smoothing right there. Anyways, we got. Let's take a look at our inventory, and if we go to, let's say, the rusty pipe wrench. Now that I have one, can I use it, or is it still disabled? Hmm, disappointing. Okay, so it looks like it's still disabled. Or maybe bugged, or maybe something. I don't know. Maybe you have to get to that point in the game first, and then you'll be allowed to do it. That may also be the problem that we're running into here. There we go. Pick that up. You just want to tap the key if you want to pick things up. It's very, very close. Can I... Oh, I can't disassemble the nailed plank? Okay. Oh, well. We'll hold on to it for right now. Let's make our way towards this next car that we're trying to put a booby trap on. I finally found the threshold for, like, where you can jump to without taking damage. And it's about two and a half stories. Like, it's just over a story. Is this a chicken coop on a roof? Hold on. Yeah, that looks decidedly like a chicken coop on a roof, weirdly enough. Alright. Well... Let's maybe think about the highways up there, which is where we were in the last episode, in case you were wondering. I've kind of backtracked a little bit and started fiddling around with stuff in between episodes. Drop onto some trash bags. There's a zombie right there. What does that do? It looks like a rather... It looks like a really, really large... That's my dumpster. Oh, yeah. That worked out pretty well. We got that power kick in the previous episode that allows us to hit enemies with, like, the kick... Huh. Sounds like that's not functioning properly. I've also got a Z over here. Did he just impale himself? He did. He impaled himself on the spikes. Alright. Well, touche, people of Haran. I had ridiculed those a couple days ago in a previous episode, and apparently they work. The zombies are dumb enough to fall into those. We learn something new every day. Well. Can I open this? No. That's not going to be openable. open -imicated. Can I... Ooh, I can kick in that door, though. That's pretty sweet. I like how there's different areas of the map that you can get into if you just, like, take the time to explore. And then you see, like, nasty, rusty boards or something. Nasty, rusty, corrugated steel, and you can kick it and maybe open it on up so that you can, like, make better use of the things that you have. I, it's really, really cool. I like the freeform exploration here. That's the sort of thing that I get really, really hooked on. And it's one of the reasons why I rarely finish open world games is because once you give me the chance to wander around, I, like, never accomplish anything ever again. Couple Zeds down there that we've got to deal with, but nothing that I'm too terrified of right now. Oh, the car's actually on the other side of this block? Okay. Let's get up on a roof over here, I think. Can I climb this? No, I can't climb that one. What about... Can I grab something right there? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't think that's going to work for us. Hold on. Let me, let me jump down here, because I really don't think that's going to function. Well, I guess we could just look. No, I'm going to climb up here. Hold on. Grab onto that. There you go, buddy. I'm so proud of you right now, you parkouring amazing bastard. It's the PAB. The parkouring amazing bastard. It's a title that I give out to people. So it says that there's a trap over here. Oh, it's on the roof. Okay. It's quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. Really? Alright, well, I didn't know that they were kind of like the guys from, what's the name of that movie? I Am Legend? It's also a book, but I never read the book. I just saw, like, the Will Smith version, so I should probably, like, practice. Ooh! Yes, please! Blue weapon! Alright, this one's all shiny and shit. That's great. It makes me really, really happy. I like it when my weapons have a little bit of extra shine to them. They got a metallic sheen going on. Not to be confused with a Charlie sheen, which... If your pipe wrench has a Charlie Sheen, it probably has a fairly severe cocaine problem. Okay, so that's been activated. It looks like it's getting dark outside, and that makes me really, really nervous, because I have read that nighttime is the worst in this game, so we may want to get back to a safe zone or something until nighttime gets here, but maybe it's in accordance. Maybe time doesn't actually change until you start doing this quest. Maybe that's what it is. That's going to make way too much noise, but you know what? I'm not going to concern myself with it right now. Do I have any more, like, 
wooden thingies that I can swipe that. Okay, so swap that out right there. I don't want the other wrench anymore. This game has the exact same thing going on. Hey, how's it going, lady? I hate to tell you this, but righty's about to pop out. As late, I mean, you're right. My left, obviously. So to me, it would be your lefty's about to pop out. But to you, I'm just trying to be helpful right now. I, I'm not a pervert. I just want you to know that I feel okay when telling you. I'm not insecure about it. It's just you should probably get on that. Oh, wow. Look how many zombies killed themselves over here. These booby traps are working in spades. Well, then. I'm going to kick one of them into it. This is going to be awesome. Hold on. Eh. Get impaled. Ah! That was the greatest. We got an agility level, didn't we? Let's use our agility level and see where that leaves us. We've got grapple. Use movement of attacking enemies to throw them around. When an enemy charges, press V and point in the direction to execute. We can also do a slide. Slide while running. This allows you to maneuver through holes and walls. Another look. That seems pretty awesome. I'm going to go for that. I use that all the time in Wolfenstein, so I'm going to use it here too. Ooh. Hell, I don't need to kill half these zombies. They do it for me. Uh, did I get her? No? Well, here. Go in the spikes. Ugh. I demand that you go into spikes. All right. Five more dollars. Some cigarettes. Everybody here had a smoking problem. Lots and lots of cigarettes around. Well, let's think about jump kicking you off the roof because it'll be awesome. Goodbye. Zo oh, got him with one right as he fell off the edge. Insult to injury. My middle name. Splattercat Insult to Injury Gaming. That's right. My last name is Gaming. You guys didn't know? Well, now you do. Metal parts. I think we might be kind of maxed out on metal parts. We need more hammers, though, very, very badly. So the next... Oh, that's right. We got to do these street lampy things. Okay. Well, I might be able to... No, I said to jump. No, I was holding the space bar. Parkour fail. Parkour fail. There we go. Parkour success. I feel like this is a very, like, tetanus ridden... Just looking at some of this corrugated steel right here is making my jaw hurt. It's feeling very, very stiff when I'm... I think I may have contracted tetanus. A million zombies everywhere, and you contracted tetanus. Well done, man. Well done. We can drop down on this one, I think. Sneak through right here and fix that up. Bing, bam, bam. There it is. Now we've got like some over there. Okay, I see the next one. We should be. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured. Oh, and you tried to you tried to donkey punch me while I was down mourning my broken ankles. That's not nice. That is not the proper timing for that individual action. It was, it was neither consensual nor okay, zombie. You should only practice that with people who are okay with it. And I am not okay. Can I break this? No, I can't break that. All right. Well, your weapons take damage, so probably don't want to smack them against things too haphazardly. You there, zombie. Fall down. I demand that you fall down so that I can bludgeon you repeatedly. Wow, still not dead, huh? Impressive. And it looks like I've made friends with all the other zombies here. Friendship is always kind of a rough term with zombies, though. Get out of here. I'm going through train cars, and you can't stop me. Well, I don't see anything to loot over here, and that really seems to be my main source of information, or my main source of motivation right now. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Can I do it from down here? Well, shit. How do I activate that one? I gotta move the train, don't I? Well, maybe I can jump from over there. Let's see what we can do here. I'm willing to bet. Like, the early game seems to really heavily focus on parkour skills because they want you to get used to, like, the main mechanic of the game, like that thing that you're always supposed to be doing. It's getting dark kind of fast right now. I'm not feeling so good about this. We need to figure out how to get up on top of this building. Which is Zed's right there. It's got to be right here. Okay, so we got that. We're going to swing over this way. And now I'll be able to show you that vaulting thing that we can do. So now that I'm on the edge, you can look at anything else that you want to jump to and allow you to vault to it. And then once you stand on it, there we go. Now we're on the roof. So, can I actually get in there? Ooh, it looks like I can. I may have to investigate that in a second. Looks like it might be a treasure location. Okay, so I think it probably wants me to walk on this street light right here. And then vault over to there, maybe. 
Oh, that didn't work very well. All right. Maybe... Oh, there's a door right there. I didn't even need to worry about that. Okay. Well, let me get myself med-kitted up here. There we go. So now that I've been med-kitted, let me practice my jumping skills. If I miss it another time, I'll make a cut right here, and we'll come back once I make the jump. Because I don't want to embarrass myself too badly by disclosing how long it takes me to overcome simple tasks like jumping. But I'll give you a little hint. It's a long-ass time. Got a couple power cables right there. Sounds good. Power cables. Lots of good stuff in here. Man, it's like a treasure trove. Good for us. Happy birthday to me. Get out of here, zombie. Ooh, that was like a life. It was a little sidekick. I liked it. I liked it. I have a flashlight that I can use. So let me maybe use that to shed some light on this situation. I bet there's probably a good piece of loot in here somewhere. Batteries, plastic. Okay. Well... See if I can knock him down real fast. And now that he's down, take the club to him and then brutalize the corpse afterwards for good measure, just to let the zombies know we mean business. A medium lock pick right here. Oh, got it. There it is. Anything good for me? Huh? Got ourselves a gas pipe, which I will happily exchange for this one right here. So now we got a blue gas pipe. He's been having a rough time lately. Life hasn't really treated him the way it's supposed to. So he's been blue. And it's right next to Christmas, too. That's the really depressing part. On the plus side, I feel like that's the way to get the maximum mileage out of Blue Blue Christmas, the song. So take from that what you will. Can I maybe climb this over here to get around quicker? I was going to say, there's got to be a faster way than going around the back side of this building. I don't know if we can make that right there. That seemed tentative. However, we may be able to make this right here. There we go. And then we make that jump right there. Good. Zelgut. And over here. See, the runway is so short that you've really... You've got to want it, I think. Oh my god, we almost overshot that. Okay, whoa, no, no, tapping. Don't fall off the side. He's doing a balance act right now. When you walk on something thin like this right here. You waited for the next one then. Better hurry. Better hurry what? Oh man, he knows. Great, guess what? I'm up on a balcony, and I got eyes on you from here. Looks like you're doing okay. For a newbie. Gee, thanks. Just try and get back here in one piece, all right? I don't want to have to train somebody to replace you. All right. Well, I'm going to have a look around. Oh, God. Ooh! That was epic. If you were running from, like, I don't know, there's fast ones at night from what I've read. Oh, no. I keep right-clicking on X, and I really need to re-keybind that, but you can't right now. The key bindings menu doesn't open. I think it hasn't been added yet. At least it doesn't open for me. I'll have to test it. Maybe I'll check that one more time before I say that. But I tried re-key binding something when I first started playing because I didn't like where it was stuck. And let's get this last light over here. Let's go do it. Ooh. Hold on. Detour for treasure. Or an F tour or an R tour or whatever. You know. I feel like R tour might get you sued by Disney, though. It's too close to Star Tours, so... R tours, D tours, F tours, you get what I mean. Ooh, a busted water pipe. Yeah, I'll take you too. We're replacing all this shitty weaponry. This is gonna be awesome. Don't ask how it got shitty. It's there's not a lot of toilet paper in the zombie wasteland. I'm sorry. Can I slide under this? I don't think I can. Alright, what are those? Fluorescent mushrooms. Okay, well. Guess we can take that. I'm glad that the, like, one of my big pet peeves with gaming is when flashlights have, like, four-second batteries. Like, I never understand where all these adventurers are getting these. Oh, my God, there's so many of them. Okay, this is not the train car for me. This is clearly the train car for zombies. There you go. Both of you fall off right there and injure yourselves. And, and I will make good on my threat to murder you all. Here, you come down next. There you go. Well done, zombie. Well done. There we go. That one's now dead. Let's see if I can get some loot up off this corpse real fast. I am interested in seeing what happens at night. I think this might get a little bit crazy. Looks like everybody just dies with pocket change in this world. 
All right, we'll turn that off. And let's go. We got stuff to do, people to see, enemies to slay. Oh, I walked right past our objective. My bad. Whoa, there's canned food and stuff in here? Does the guy that sent me out here know about this? Why would you ever stay in a train car? That seems, well, I guess you could, but I don't know. That door doesn't convince me that zombies wouldn't be able to get inside of it. Oh, I couldn't make that jump. Doesn't matter, because there's stairs right over here. All right, up we go the stairs. And wait, is that not what I, oh, I got excited over nothing. Okay, so we need to go to a different location. It's down and over, oh, never mind. It's on top of that train car. I see it now. Oopa, up we go. Flick that real fast. Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Uh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. I went to a power substation once. They made really good sandwiches. <laughs> Sandwich-related humor, oh my god. He made sandwich-related humor. There you go. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP. I'm going as fast as I can, Spike. Trying to work on it right now, but anyways, yeah. The long-lost world of sandwich-related humor. Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. Tab to use survivor sense? What does that do? Whoa, I wasn't behind it. I was on the other side of him. Oh, God. Ninjutsu! Hmm. Ow! Okay, so that's got a pretty generous hitbox. Alright. At least it doesn't hurt that much. It could be a lot worse. Let me get a better weapon out here. He's making a racket, though, which is problematic. Hmm. Oh! Yeah, zombie. You ain't want none. I got dodges. I got dodges. Oh, right in the head. Ow! Right in my head! Never mind! Alright, he gives as well as he takes, I guess. So what does Survivor Sense do for me? It doesn't appear to be helping much. I'm not trying to be a picky douche right now, but... I assume that he's got like a broken leg somewhere or something. Oh, did I get him? Ooh, I want his... Yeah! Heavy rebar! Can I, where is that? Is it in my inventory right now? Oh, this is gonna be the stuff. I'm gonna put it in for, yep. All right, let's see this thing. There it is. Just a big ass hunk of rock on the end of some steel. That's how I like to bounce. All right, right, guess I could say that's how I rock. It looks like we slow down quite a bit though in carrying, oh, there's another one in here? Wow, you guys, this is like hometown buffet for zombies, isn't it? This is like an exciting thing for you. Did that one shot her? It did. I like this weapon. I might stick with it. It doesn't look like we can fix it though, so, you know. I guess once we break it, we've got to ditch it. Oh, I guess we're doing quick time events. There we go. Eh. Can I... Let's see, find the power distribution panel. And then do a thing. Fix the light problem. I Is it in here maybe? I don't know. This doesn't seem like it's working. Hmm. Well, we may have We may have hit the end of the trail here. I'm not really sure. Because there's definitely... Maybe I need one hand to do it? No? Oh, well. It wasn't a two-handed task. It was a one-handed task. So with these distribution... Hmm. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Can I go in this door? I cannot. Okay. Well, can I search this zombie then? Awesome. Zombie searched. 
Oh, we can go in here. Okay, well, why did I peel that open then? Hmm. Make ample use of our flashlight since we appear to be luminously challenged. Or illumination challenged. There we go. I like that. Maybe this is what we need. Yay! Prying open things. Joints are for weaklings. Ooh. All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. That sucks. I kind of want to save. I want to spend the night. I mean, I guess it's called a safe zone, so I guess you guys probably wouldn't lie to me, but. Wait. There it is. I was gonna say, I gotta find that thing. Sometimes I can't find the sweet spot with those mini games. I don't know. There's a water pipe right there. I think all my weapons are blue now, though. Yeah, like pretty much everything's blue, so I'll just take the coffee. That guy looks like he's seen better days. And a lot of them from the redness of those eyes. Okay. So. Ooh, blueprint, water current. What does that do? Damn, man, we got all kinds of cool stuff. I want to craft something, like, really, really badly, but we can't see. Oh, there it is right there. We can make this. Okay, so water current. Electrify a water pipe, and what do you get? A clever play on words. Well, then we're going to craft this right now. I want to do it with... Let's do it with that one right there. Yeah! Okay, so we've got a water pipe modified now. And does that automatically go back into my inventory? Oh, it does. Let's look at this thing. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Look at it. It's all zappy. I am the Thunder God. Okay, so we've got to make it back to the safe house before it gets dark, apparently. It's it's looking kind of dark already to me. I don't know. Let's hustle. This may not end well for us. Slide. Up and over the top here. There we go. That's looking better. Let me turn that off real fast. I don't think that I need it, although it is a little dark. Go underneath that. I wish that our pipe, because it's electrified, I wish that it would set off, like, or send off a little bit of illumination up on it there. Keep on hustling. Keep hustling. Keep hustling. In the zombie universe. Okay. You know, just go ahead. All right, up to here. Oh no, I've been put offline. My connection to Steam is doomed. Oh shit! The hell was that? Hmm. What is that? Hey, Doc. This is Kyle Crane. Crane! What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? Mm, not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. You. Okay, and so it looks like we're in position right now. Oh, really? You can skip to the next day? That's nice. Alright, well I may consider doing just that. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Dying Light. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you for joining me, I really do think that I'm having a good time with this game. I mean, I can't really tell because I'm only me, no, I'm having a good time. I like this game a lot, and I hope you're enjoying it as well. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody!